Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my first real PC VR test on the Quest 3. Now I have been trying loads of PC VR games and I did mention how good the PC VR aspect was in my Quest 3 review video, but I wanted to make a video dedicated just to this aspect of the headset because it's really surprised me just how good it is and for the price point, there's an argument to say it might be the best value PC VR headset you can buy versus the quality you get out of this and I'm talking FOV resolution and just generally yeah quality because it is a very very good PC VR experience especially with virtual desktop. Now in this video I'm going to get some footage like this with me just talking talking about the experience and telling you how it looks inside here. I'm already noticing kind of details on these bricks um, and just, it's hard to describe, but there's a, a level of detail and a level of depth that feels much more accurate on the Quest 3 versus the Quest 2. And that's the headset I'm coming from, primarily. I've used the Quest 2 as my, you know, my daily driver for years, you know, since 2020. So this is revolutionary for me. This is a huge leap forward. Everything looks sharper. Everything in the distance still looks sharp. There's no kind of blurriness or fuzziness as things are getting further away. I think the colours are really nice. They're really natural. They're not blown out. Really, really good. And the contrast's pretty good. I, I wouldn't say it's the best I've ever seen. The difference between the lights and the darks on this headset, definitely better than Quest 2. Uh, it doesn't suffer from as much kind of grayscale as the Quest 2 does, but it's nowhere near as good as something like the PSVR 2, let's say, which has that huge contrast between blacks and lights uh, because of the OLED screen. I'm also going to try and capture some through the lenses footage today um, of all the games I play to really demonstrate how good they look on the Quest 3. Um, yeah, it, it's just... It's the finer details look... Ab I mean, I feel like I could almost read the small print on that. Almost. I mean, I don't even know if it's actually text. I don't think it is. I think it's just random scrawlings. But it's that sharp. And I must say, I mean, I I've got a, uh, a pretty beastie PC. So that's going to be helping uh, the case here with the Quest 3. I've got a 4090. So I'm able to max these games out, which, which really does help. But yeah, it it's like it's like someone's finally turned on the light. <laughs> um, I've been using the Quest 2 and it's completely serviceable. It's a great little PC VR headset. But I never had any of the kind of details, the texture details I'm seeing on that building alone from this distance. You, you couldn't see that on the Quest 2. The resolution bump is phenomenal. Right, go away, pigeon. Whee! Off he goes. Now, I am using virtual desktop today to wirelessly stream these games to the Quest 3, and I would say it's an essential purchase for anyone who's picking up a Quest 3. If you want to wirelessly play your PC VR games on your Quest 3 headset, you can use AirLink, which is free via Meta. They, they give you that for free. But I've always found that the experience of using virtual desktop is better and it's more modular. You can really change the settings and find you can find the exact right setup for your PC and your wireless infrastructure at home. Um, you can change things like the bit rate on the fly. It, it's just virtual desktop gives, I think, a much better and more stable wireless PC VR experience and one that visually <laughs> is is unmatched absolutely unmatched now a few people have asked how this headset stacks up against the quest pro and even the pico 4 now i will put some some stats on the screen um to kind of show you the breakdown versus the quest pro i would say this is sharper um it's definitely sharper on paper the quest 3 has a higher resolution than quest pro and i think the horizontal field of view of the Quest 3 is higher than the Quest Pro, but the vertical is higher on Quest Pro. Again, I'll put the stats on screen um, so you can kind of see that yourself. The Pico 4 actually has a higher horizontal resolution, but a lower vertical resolution than the Quest 3. And the field of view, again, on the Pico 4 is, I believe, higher vertically and <laughs> lower horizontally. So there's not a huge amount in it. I think the Quest 3 and the Pico 4 are probably the most suitable comparisons. They're very close in terms of their specs. Um, 
but I prefer the the feel of the Quest 3 on my face, especially now that I've got the Bobo strap. The, the center of gravity is much better, and the, the Quest 3 is considerably lighter than the Pico 4. Can I draw on all of these windows? No, that's a shame. I should be able to, right? They're all windows. Ah, here we go. I can draw on this one. Always find myself drawing nonsense pictures when I get to this bit in Half-Life Alex. Like, I just I can't help myself. Can't help myself. Let's give him a hat. He needs a hat. Yeah, let's give him a little hat. That'll do. Very cool. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the colours feel really natural inside uh, Quest 3. Like, I think that's probably one of my favourite things. Contrast could do with being a little a little higher. I, I wish the blacks and the dark areas popped a bit more. Yeah, really natural, clean colours. Hello there. Have a bucket. Ah! I missed him. Only just. Oh, Jesus Christ, sir. Yeah, crisp, sharp. Well defined, no blurriness around the edges, no fuzziness. Just great, high quality PC VR headset for $479.99. I think that's the best thing about this headset. The most surprising thing about Quest 3 is how good this is as a PC VR headset for the price point. Um, a phenomenal option for people who might not want to break the bank with like an index or a big screen beyond and those headsets which are specifically pc vr they they are better than quest 3 uh, especially just in terms of the fov i mean the index has a much wider higher fov than the quest 3 but it does have a lower resolution it's kind of give and take i think fov actually ends up making a bigger difference um, a lot of the time in terms of immersion anyway have that have this food yeah you love it you weird little bug thing you weird little bug thing. Not coffee. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Have another one. You know what? If I leave it like that, you can just eat it all day, mate. Crack on. Wow, yeah, this is just so much crisper. So crisp, so sharp. Can you die, please? Don't like you at all! No, I don't like you at all. I hate these ones so much. They really look like spiders, and that doesn't, doesn't do it for me. What guns have I got? Yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, no. None of that. I think Half-Life Alex is still probably the best example as well. The best game to test these kind of things with. Because the lighting is so good, and again, like the colours, the depth, the environments, they're really detailed, there's so much going on. All these little particles flying through the air, and I can see them all clearly. The pulsating in these sacks. It's a beautiful game, um, and just great to test new hardware, whether it's... That was a grenade, wasn't it? Uh, whether it's a new headset, or like a new GPU, any kind of new upgrade you get. Half-Life Alex is a great test. Bah! 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 Uh oh uh oh uh oh Bah! Yeah, that's what I thought, son. Ah, his little friend's still alive. No. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Stop it, you horrible monster. No, you look horrible on the quest. Hate it. Ooh. It looks so lifelike. I don't like it. It's disgusting. Oh, Kayak VR. Every single time I come back to this game, I'm blown away by how good it looks. How the hell did they get it to look like this? It doesn't make any sense to me. This game looks good on every headset. I mean, you could play this on Google Cardboard and it would look like some kind of next-gen experience, but 
yeah, this is this is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. Um, incredible stuff. Again, I've got the game maxed out. All these games, I've got them maxed out on my PC. So I'm fortunate enough to be able to, um, and I'm oh, playing using virtual desktop. Wow. Yeah, it looks real. <laughs> That is the only way I can describe it, to be honest. It looks real. <sighs> colours are beautiful. Um, a big, I'm a big fan of the colours. I, I really am. I think, I, I think I'm stuck here in this little alcove, but I'm, I'm a big fan of the uh, colours on the Quest 3. I think it's a great... Can I row backwards? Is that a thing? Yeah, okay, I can. The contrast between the blues, the greens, just everything is, is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and just incredibly sharp. I still kind of can't quite believe that for 480 quid you can get a PC VR headset this good. I don't know what the, the, the reverb's going, going for these days, the G2, HP G2 reverb. Because that also, um, I haven't used one, but apparently that has an incredible that's an incredible PC VR headset as well. Great field of view, great resolution. But I don't know what price that goes for. Um, I, ge I just genuinely think there's an argument to say that if you're in the market for a PC VR headset, but don't want to break the bank, I think I think Quest 3 might end up being the option. You know? Quest Pro at a thousand pounds? Or however much it was, I think it was more than a thousand pounds, just feels wildly um, incorrectly priced at this point when you can get this kind of quality from Quest 3. At a fr you could buy like two or three Quest 3s for the price of one Pro. This game always makes me tired. I clearly don't do enough exercise because I come into this game and I have to move my arms back and forth ever so slightly and that's enough to bin me off for the rest of the day. I'll have achy arms later. I need to start going to the gym, clearly. Christ. I am so unhealthy. Yeah, this looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. I knew it would, but... Uh, just, yeah, wow. Incredible stuff. I'm excited to see how um, Microsoft Flight Simulator looks. If I can get it running, I've got it on Game Pass. I don't know how well that runs, or if it runs with Virtual Desktop. I don't think I've tried it, but I will try it momentarily and see if I can get it going. Alright, I need to find somewhere to get some nice through-the-lens footage. Over here, maybe. Let's park up at this beach. Let's park up over here at this beach. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. And as someone who's used a Quest 2 as their PC VR headset for three years, three years now, bought it in 2020, 2023. Yeah, three years of Quest 2 PC VR gaming and now this as my daily driver. It's 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 such an upgrade and I, I absolutely love it. I think through this video, I'm going to put stats on the screen, um, just comparisons between the Quest 3 and other kind of high-end headsets, just so you can kind of make up your own mind because it's a big purchase. And if you're thinking about getting something for PC VR, right now my gut instinct would be this, um, or the Pico. I prefer the comfort and the lightweight feeling of this. Pico is heavier than Quest 3, but I do think visually, PC VR wise, they're probably gonna be quite close. So the Pico does have a higher horizontal resolution. I think it's 2160 or 2260, I think. But the vertical resolution of Quest 3 is higher than Pico. So there's not going to be a huge amount in it. They've, they've both got pancake displays. 
Field of view is very similar on both of them. I think, again, the quest wins on horizontal, but it loses on vertical. The one thing I remember the most about Pico 4, and I've not used it extensively for PCVR, was that it did feel like it was kind of warping almost at the edges. I'm not getting any of that with uh, Quest 3. No bowing or warping off to the edge of my vision. It looks, you know, just uh, exceptionally sharp and exceptionally flat all around. Not flat, you know, it has depth, it has scale, but it doesn't have that, that bowing, that warping off to the sides. And I remember that vividly from Pico when I used it, both standalone and for PCVR. Now, it wouldn't be one of my videos without some Resident Evil in it. A little bit of RE2 VR modded. This looks gorgeous. It's so nice to see this not looking fuzzy and blurry. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 Holy hell. Jeez, this looks so much nicer. Really sharp, really defined. I've played this through three times, two, three times on Quest 2. And yeah, it's never, it's never looked as good as this. Stay there, doggy. None of that. Come on, try again. Oh, no, I have to fight you around the other side now. And you, get off there. Oh, bugger. They're going to be waiting for me. They're going to be waiting for me. That's fine. That's fine. I think there's one around this corner as well. Is there? Is there? I don't... Yep. Yeah. Ah! No! Stop! It! You dead? Good boy. Good boy. I want to see some zombies. Come on, zombies. Any zombies in here? Hello? No, they're all dead. I've killed all the zombies in there. I don't think there's any zombies left alive. I think I've... Ah! What are you doing here? Oh, my good lord. Okay. All right. Calm down. Ah! Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Oh, I don't think I'll capture any through the lens recording here. Um, no, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. One through there. Yeah, I knew it. Stay back. Two. Two. Oh, mate, don't even try. I've barely got any bullets. I've only got seven bullets left. There shouldn't be two dog. There's not a third one, is there? There shouldn't be two dogs in there. That's just ridiculous. Right, give me my shotgun. Two bullets in that as well. I'm not doing okay. I am not doing okay. Sneak up behind the dog. He doesn't have to know. Oh, there's three of them. Three of them, and I've got one bullet in this shotgun. You first. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, my God. Come here. There we go. That'll do. Four bullets. Well, I can't put them all down with four bullets, can I? One. Two. Is that it? Oh, my God. Maybe I can. Oh, he's running to the car. He's freaking out. One more bullet. <gasps> oh, sh I was about to celebrate. Ah! Piss, run. Run over there. Leon, run. Run for your life. You have no bullets and you're going to die. Oh, shit. You are going to be my through the lenses test, my dear. I wish I could hold the torch and do through the lenses at the same time, but I need both my hands to hold my phone. Now, one thing I'm noticing in here is this doesn't look as sharp, like texture-wise. These textures are quite blurry, quite low quality, um, but I think that's more to do with it being a mod um, and the sacrifices you have to make to get this running in VR. Because this game is tough to run in VR. But I will say, on Quest 3, it looks brighter. Um, this corridor in particular, on Quest 2, I've played it a few times, it's quite murky um, and not very well defined, but here, I can see right to the end, it's very crisp, I can still see the textures on the walls from a distance. It does look a darn sight better on Quest 3, and I could probably pump the in-game graphics and settings up to try and make it look even better, but then I would take a performance hit, so I'm happy to not have the performance hit and still have it looking as good as it does. Um, it's a good compromise, I think. Oh man, I always forget how good this game looks. It looks absolutely unreal. And a million times better than it did on my Quest 2, which is the only headset I've used to play this game previously. Now this is going to be a very short part of this video. 
purely because I'm playing the game with the touch controllers and I have no idea how. I don't know where my Xbox controller is, and that's how I usually prefer to play. Um, but I'm terrified right now. Like, I don't know how to get out, like, my landing gear and stuff. Um, uh, which is, which is really worrying because, like, this is a landing test. Does this, does this plane even have landing gear? Maybe? I don't, maybe it just has, I think this one might already have wheels on it, you know? Um, <laughs> in terms of how good this looks though, it looks unreal. It looks next level, absolutely phenomenal. It is crisp. The lighting is gorgeous. The details inside the cockpit are just, just beyond good. I can read all the information. It's a beautiful looking game. I need to throttle down, right? Oh my god, no. Oh my god, this is terrible. Do I have a break? I feel like I should have a break, right? Okay. Throttle down a bit more. No, am I throttling up? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Throttle down. Throttle down. Oh, I'm not making this. I'm not making it. Throttle down. Throttle down. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Come on, maybe I will. Pull up a bit. Pull up a bit. Oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to go off the end of the runway. Throttle. Break. 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 I'm back in the air. No. <laughs> oh, no. Just fly away. Just fly away. We've absolutely cocked it up. Don't go in the tree. Oh, my God. This game is beautiful, and I'm terrible at it because I failed. Holy shit. I really don't know if I can get any through the lenses footage of this one. Because, well, the plane won't fly itself, will it? And I kind of have to, <laughs> I have to keep flying the plane, otherwise I'll just crash. I will attempt to get some through the lenses footage of this one, um, because it does, it does look absolutely stunning. Um, oh God, flight sim. It's a tough game to run, but if you can really fine tune the settings to suit your PC, and you've got a headset that's got a high enough resolution, you will have a an amazing time like it just looks beautiful and I'm not a big flight sim guy like I, I don't chart courses and sit and play for hours but jumping in and just doing short flights or flying around landmarks and locations that I I would love to visit in the real world or maybe I have visited something about it is just so tranquil and relaxing and it is easily one of the most incredible looking VR games I've ever played like it is Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. And Quest 3 takes it to a completely different level. I couldn't really get much through the lens footage of this one because it kept flickering. Um, I guess there was something to do with the refresh rate. Uh, it didn't look super comfortable. I'll try and use as much as I can, but I don't want to give anyone any seizures or anything like that. And it was, it was quite flashy. I'm going to sum up here. The Quest 3 is a massive upgrade over the Quest 2. If you're like myself and that's been your daily driver, if that's been the way you've experienced PC VR, then the Quest 3 will blow your mind. It looks sharper, the resolution is much higher, the field of view is higher. I really like the colour clarity. The contrast could be better. Um, the difference between the dark colours and light colours isn't as good as the OLED screen on the PSVR 2, let's say, but that's because it's an OLED screen and, and that's one of the biggest features of the PSVR 2. But these pancake lenses, the refresh rate, the resolution, all of it look absolutely stunning and it is just a massive upgrade over the Quest 2. Now, if you're coming from something like an Index or a big screen beyond, or even a Pico 4 or a Quest Pro, the difference isn't going to be as noticeable. It's not gonna blow your mind in the same way it will if you're going from Quest 2. I do still think the Quest 3 will come out on top in pure specification comparisons against things like Pico 4 and even the Index in some aspects. Not all aspects at all, but even some, it will come out on top. It's a great PC VR option at a really good, attractive price point. £479.99 for a 
for a PC VR headset of this quality that also has the standalone with a huge quality bump and mixed reality experiences, that's kind of next level and I didn't expect Quest 3 to be as impressive as it is on the PC VR front. I'm really happy with it. It will no doubt be my daily driver for the next three or four years until they make a Quest 4 or until something else comes along that really beats it out in a meaningful way. But for now, this is a very impressive PC VR device and it will be how I engage with all PC VR games going forward. Warning, assure that all contaminants including water are removed from fuel and fuel system before flight. Failure to assure contaminants free fuel and heed all safety instructions and owner advisories prior to flight can result in bodily injury or death. Well that's good, it's good to know. I can actually read the text in here now, it's amazing, I'm gonna crash, oh, I'm gonna crash! Oh, no I'm not, I'm a pro pilot but I don't know where I go from here. I don't know where I go from here. I can get through that gap. Come on, there we go. This game looks stunningly good. Holy hell! Come on now, Microsoft Flight Simulator. What are you doing to me?